Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial whether how we can apply discount to bills in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, getting discount is an effective way for businesses to save some money on purchases, which reduces the expenses and increases the profit. Anyhow, before applying discounts to bills, we need to set up terms and discounts so that we can track it properly. Now let's set up terms and to set up terms go to list and select terms list under customer and vendor profile list and by default QuickBooks has already set up some terms for us but to make it clear I'm creating one so click on terms and select new. Here add net days and then add the number of days a discount is being offered for and if we pay within these certain days we will receive a certain percentage as discount and then give it a name and then click on OK and here you can see a new term has been set up. Now let's search discount and here you can see that an item named discount showed up which we have created in our previous tutorial when we were talking about customer discount. I will mention the link of the tutorial in the description for your convenience. Anyhow, since this tutorial is about vendor discounts, we will set up a new discount account that will help us track the discount we will receive from our vendors. So go to chart of accounts to see if we already have one. Here we have only one cost of goods sold accounts which we sure can use, but to track the discount properly, I'm going to set up one. So click on account and select new. And it's your discretion whether you want to track it as an expense account or a cost of goods sold account. Well, I'm going to track it as a cost of goods sold account because the services I'm going to buy are actually the ones we offer. So in other words, I'm just subcontracting the services. That's why I'm tracking it as a cost of goods sold account. So click on this drop down and select cost of goods sold and then click on continue. Well, since the services I'm going to buy are actually being subcontracted, that's why I'm going to create a couple of accounts. The first one is subcontracts. And instead of clicking on save and close, I'm going to click on save and new so that I can create the other ones right away. Well, the services I'm going to buy are actually the design services. So I'm going to create an account named design income. You can name it whatever you want and make it a sub account of subcontracts. Now click on save and new and create a new account named discount received and make it a sub account of either subcontracts or design income. And to keep it simple, I'm making it a sub account of subcontracts and then click on save and close. And here you can see that our accounts have been set up. And you need to make sure that the services you are going to buy have been set up for subcontracting and to check it, just go to items and services and double click on the service you want to subcontract and check this checkbox if it's not been checked already. And then at the cost you will be here and then assign the discount account. Moreover, you can select your preferred vendor, but I'm not going to. And then write the description if you want, and then click on OK, and then click on Yes. Now, let's apply discounts while creating bills. And while creating bills, I will apply discounts with and without using terms and with the combination of both. So, go to Enter Bills and select your vendor. and then add some items. And then add some terms, which means that if we pay this bill within 12 days, we will get 4% discount. Less the date of the bill is 2nd March, which means if we pay this bill till 14th March, we will be entitled to receive 4% discount we are being offered. Then add your customer here you are subcontracting it for. And here you can see that it's been checked mark as available items which means QuickBooks will track it as an outstanding billable items and will show us 
when we will create an invoice against this customer. And as soon as you will click on save and close, QuickBooks will give you a prompt mentioning that you have changed the terms for this bill. Just click on yes to record the bill. Now let's go to pay bills and select the bill you want to pay. And as soon as you will select the bill, QuickBooks will not only inform you about the terms that has been applied to this bill, but also calculate the amount of the discount for you. And when you click on set discount, you will see the full information of this bill. And when I change the date exceeding the suggested discount limit, which is 14th March, and go to set discount, it does give me the terms information, but it does not calculate the discount amount anymore because the suggested discount amount limit has gone. So to apply the discount, I'm changing the date back within the suggested discount amount limit. And then go to set discount again and select the discount account and then click on done. And here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill. And then click on pay selected bills to make payment of this bill. Now let's create another bill and this time we will not add any terms to apply discount. So go to enter bills and select your vendor. And then add some items. and make it billable. Now remove the terms if show up. Then change the date and then click on save and close to record the bill. Now go to pay bills and select the bills you want to pay. And this time, when you select the bill, it does not show any suggested discount amount info here. And it's just because there were no terms applied to this bill. So if you want to apply some discount to this bill, just click on set discount and add your discount amount here. And when you try to add the discount in terms of percentage, it won't allow. So add it in terms of dollar amount and then select your discount account and then click on done and here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill and then click on pay selected bills to record your bill. Now let's create another bill which includes both the discount and terms. So go to enter bills and select your vendor and then add some items and discount. And here you can see that the total amount of the bill was 1050, out of which we already have applied some discount which decreased the bill amount to 975. And above it, we are also being offered more discount in terms of applying terms to this bill. And to keep it simple, I'm not making it a billable. And then click on save and close to record the bill. And then go to pay bills and select the concerned bill. And as soon as you will select the bill, it will give you the information about the suggested discount again as it did before. So just go to set discount and select the discount account and then click on done. And here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill. And the total amount of the bill now is 936 and then select your bank account you want to use to make payment and then click on pay selected bills to record your bill payment and this is how you can apply discounts to bills in quickbooks desktop and if you have stayed this far please consider supporting by liking subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section and i hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching